Greetings from your state affiliate, President-elect for Louisiana, Dr. Erin McKinley. I am here with you today on video to talk about how your affiliate can generate some revenue, bring in that extra money so that you can be doing the activities within your affiliate that you want to do. So the best practice I'm here to talk about is something that Louisiana has been doing for quite some time now. We have what's called a Manual of Medical Nutrition Therapy. It's a nutrition guide for long-term care in Louisiana. If you look on Amazon, it is sold there in both an ebook and print on demand paperback version. And so we are in actually the eighth edition of this manual. We publish it in full every three years. So we're currently working on our ninth edition. As there are many chapters, we split up the chapters over the years and we take about two or three per year and edit those as needed to update with the most recent literature with regard to those topics to make sure that everything in this manual is up to date and is what is recommended by the Academy for use in long-term care. So the diet manual contains sections pertaining to various diets that are designed to be used by the certified dietary manager, in addition to the registered dietitians in these different facilities. And so the dietary modifications are simplified so that the manager can concentrate on serving nutritious, safe, attractive, and tasty meals in a pleasant environment. And the section titled Nutrition Support is included to assist that facility's nutrition multidisciplinary team to identify patients who may be at nutritional risk or in developing comprehensive care plans for the residents at those facilities. So as you can tell, our real kind of key demographic that we're going after are long-term care facilities. Can the guide be used by registered dietitians not working in long-term care facilities? Of course, it has a lot of great information on things from dysphagia diets to diabetes to weight management to things that we all work and think about in a clinical setting. And so we benefit from that and we actually sell a lot more of these copies of the books on Amazon because of the variability within it that allows it to be used by many different types of dietitians. And it is really written at a very simple level so that if certified dietary managers are the ones purchasing and obtaining the guide, they can use it just as easily. And so some little tips about how we put that together. We have a task force uh, that consists of multiple members of the land executive board. And we have an executive director, obviously, with our group. And then we have an, an, an editor. And the editor and the executive director work hand in hand to make sure that the business side of the ebook and the Amazon publication are done correctly. And so it just so happens that our editor, uh, due to her employment restrictions of being a professor at a state university, she does not accept any funds to do this. And so that helps on the cost side of things. And to ensure that we have individuals who are qualified and will do a really good job with editing each chapter of the guide as we go through those chapters each year, we now pay our volunteers five cents a word of what needs to be edited in each chapter. To establish the word count on what needs to be reviewed each year or every three years, depending on the chapter, uh, that's what the task force was there for, myself included, to really go through and distinguish between information that is static and does not change with regard to those topics and what is really dependent on the current research in that area and needs to be uh, looked into to make sure that we have the most up-to-date information. And so we do uh, an application for reviewers for the chapters on a schedule uh, each year throughout the three years. And so the editor makes the final selection of who will be the editors for a particular section, depending on their expertise area and the chapter that they would like to review. After reviewers are chosen, we do get them to sign an agreement that outlines all of their responsibilities and what we expect from them as a reviewer with a indication of the estimated amount of words that may need to be edited with about how much they would make. And obviously that is updated when we have that final number when it's all said and done. And then once the edits are approved by the editor, then a payment is made to that volunteer for the work that they have done for us. 
When it comes to working with the Amazon formatting, getting the updated editions to Amazon uploaded onto the website, uh, our executive director and the editor work closely uh, to make sure that all of the finalized format is exactly how we need it. So uh, if there's any additional graphics or tables that need to be added or edited, we make sure those are done. And we have um, the option on the website to either have an ebook or a paper copy. And what that means is if someone really wants to have that paper copy, they can pay a little bit more, it's about $20 more to have it printed on demand by Amazon and then shipped to them. And so that's a nice thing for those that really want to make sure they have that accessible copy for whoever in the facility and it's not so much tied up um, on an iPad or on a computer, but they can save a little bit of money if they do want an ebook copy. So how much does land make? from each purchase, it depends. We make the royalties on a percentage depending on what format was purchased. I can't disclose exactly the percentages of what we make, but benefits of working with Amazon on this is that we do not have physical inventory of the book. We do not have to prepay to have copies printed that may be sitting around collecting dust and that we might be wasting money on. And so we have no inventory, no ongoing operational requirements, and any taxes that are paid as far as sales tax paid by the purchaser to Amazon, Amazon then takes care of and does not put that sales tax on us in any way. And on a monthly or quarterly basis, we get reports from Amazon letting us know the purchase, the dates of purchase, the quantity, because a lot of folks do buy uh, multiple editions of the printed or ebook copy. And so that one one copy is available for each RD or dietary manager within that facility. And so we're sent a report in an Excel doc that kind of outlines how much we've made that month. And just to kind of give you an idea, um, since 2016, uh, I looked back at some numbers, we've made, you know, $60,000, $65,000 in revenue from this um, with very little costs on the back end as we did not pay volunteers until recently and our editor has never taken, um, has never been paid for their work or has never taken uh, a payment for their work. How do we market this? We market this on our website. It's available anytime. So if someone happens to Google search for the name of the actual guide, uh, it would not only come up as uh, the Amazon pages, uh, for them to go ahead and directly purchase, our website would pop up with a link to Amazon so that they can connect and purchase from there. Uh, when we have new editions of the guide come out, we put that in our monthly e-blasts and our different newsletters. We put it on our social media feeds. And then we also contact individually all of the long-term care facilities within the state of Louisiana to see if they're interested in updating the copies that they might currently have, or if they don't purchase it, really give them a preview of what it's going to offer them, especially with any updates. We'll highlight anything really new and exciting that's come out with research that we've added to the guide to really make sure that the facilities that are investing their money in this are getting what they are paying for. During my upcoming presidency, one of my goals to increase revenue through the Amazon eBooks is to really start to reach out to the educators in the state, those who are leading dietetics programs or dietetic internships. I had the luxury of having an internship program that did have a long-term care rotation, and I would have loved to have had a guide like this to help me out during some of those difficult times when maybe my preceptor wasn't immediately available to help me answer a question. And so I really want to start reaching out to those educators, seeing if maybe they can integrate this into the classroom, into their MNT classes, or if they happen to have a graduate class that is focused in long-term care or older adult care, that they might be able to use the textbook um, or use the book as a textbook uh, with their students so that we could increase sales. The other thing is, in the title, it says the state of Louisiana. The guide is not written specifically with information that only pertains to the state. So the book can be purchased and is purchased by those outside of the state of Louisiana because the information that we use to update the book is from the literature that is internationally found um, in, in renowned nutrition journals and a lot of the information from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And so there is potential to expand out to really get long-term care facilities in other states to be looking at what we have to offer for this particular type of revenue generating benefit.